All you need to do is understand the basics, build on them, and practice and learn from your mistakes. Let me explain. The lessons would always go by with the teacher going through example questions and us going through a booklet of questions. During the lessons, I would always pay attention. Not like I'm sitting there like a proper nerd, but just taking in what the teacher is saying and trying to understand what they're sort of trying to teach. But if you don't understand, then go and ask your teacher in the moment to explain what they're trying to teach. This will help you understand the basic concepts. Then we build on it. This was done when we did the questions from that booklet. Answering the questions from the booklet helps you to see if you understand a concept. When you go to check your answer or just look at the marks team to see how to get the answer, make sure you understand each step of the working out. And if there's a step that you don't understand, go ask your teacher. And it might be useful to just make a note of anything that you missed out that would have helped you answer the question. Like put this on a separate piece of paper. Call this the knowledge sheet. And you can continue writing down different things on this piece of paper. And then look at this piece of paper before exams. This is our third step. Practice and learn from your mistakes. This three step process means you will have a good knowledge for your, your exams. The problem with this process is if you've got a rubbish teacher. If that is so, then I recommend YouTube. And these are the different channels I recommend. They may explain a topic differently to what your teachers did. And that different approach to teaching might help you to understand the concepts. From this three-step process, maths just becomes a lot of practice. We would be given topic tests and to sort of prepare for those, I would use questions from Maths Genie and watch any video that they made on a specific topic. If I had forgotten, how to answer a specific question. And if you make any mistakes when you do those questions, add it to the knowledge sheet. I would do the same thing for mocks and exams, but just do the same process with past papers. I found maths papers a bit tight for time. And if you feel the same way, then I would recommend going through a full paper, do it in timed conditions, and then review the paper. Like for my other subjects, I didn't find a tight for time. And I would like do a question, review the question, learn from it and then move on to the next question. If I didn't understand the mark scheme to a specific question, I would watch a walkthrough video on YouTube about it to try and help me understand the question and the answer. And if that didn't help, then asking my teacher. One tip here is that the more questions you do, it's probably gonna mean you're gonna do better on your exams. So ask your teachers for more questions. That's how I revised. And now I'm gonna go through some extra tips specific for maths if you want to do well. So before exams, I would read over that knowledge sheet I made so I don't repeat those same mistakes I made again. And that way I won't lose easy marks. If I ever found myself stuck on a question, like for more than two, three minutes, I would just move on because there would be more questions later in the paper, which I knew I could answer and get those marks on. And then if I had time, I would come back to that question which I didn't understand. This is so you get the marks which you can't answer and don't waste time struggling on a difficult question. For pure maths, understanding the basics is crucial because it makes the more complex stuff later much easier. For example, if you're finding parametrics difficult, then it might be useful to go back to the simpler topics like differentiation and integration. For stats, I used YouTube a lot and it really helped. Unlike Pure, I would make notes for stats. For example, binomial distribution, coding, that sort of rubbish. I would make my notes mostly based off Save My Exams and YouTube videos. For large data set, there was a nice summary video which I watched and if I find it, then it will be in the description. A large data set, it's only going to be a few marks. Don't waste too much time on it. It is what it is. For mechanics, I use Save My Exams to make notes for a few topics like the lifts and connected particles. Again, YouTube will be your best friend. But where you will learn the most in any of these three branches of maths is by attempting questions and then learning from your mistakes. If you're awful at maths and there's not long left, then I'd recommend doing the following. The basics are really important. So I recommend going through the contents page of a textbook or even the specification and just watch videos on any topic you don't seem to remember. There are videos online going through the entire course as well. Then I recommend going through past papers and when you don't understand what to do for a question, watch a video walkthrough on it or ask your teachers. Just make sure you know what to do if that topic comes up. 
Here is the playlist to the A-Level video series. Leave any questions down below.